In our new video series, we're going to go over how to age whitetail deer. And in our first video of this series, we're going to go over characteristics to look for when you're trying to age a year and a half old deer. Mossy Oak Properties, where outdoorsmen find their favorite place. One thing that Cody and I have been wanting to do for a while now, figured it was a good time to do it. No time like the present. That's right. Is do an aging type series on the hoof and also lower jaw, etc. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of information you can learn about your deer herd mm -hmm. from it. And you know, that's the thing. This, us doing this is kind of what is inspired by me misaging a lot of our deer recently. Mm -hmm. You know, I kind of got lazy with it, to be honest, and was confusing you know, some year and a half with twos and twos with threes just because yeah. I had gotten lazy with it. So use this, use my mistakes as an opportunity. We saw an opportunity to, to kind of revisit this. A lot of people who, like myself, have been doing it for a while, you, you can get a little lazy Big time. with it. And yeah. you know, you, you, just to kind of a refresher course for those of you who do know how to age deer on mm -hmm. the hoof, um, especially off of trail camera photos, and those of you who aren't familiar with it, this is a good introductory yeah. series of videos that we're going to go through. Year and a half, twos, threes, fours, and a four and a half mm -hmm. plus year old deer. Yeah, the, some of the popular ways to age deer, obviously if they're harvested, you can look at the lower jaw, look at the wear, the staining of it. Also, you can take those lower incisors, ship them off to a lab, and they can report back to you how old they are. The thing is with aging deer, whether it's lower jaw and aging deer on a hoof through video or pictures off your deer camera, there is pluses and minuses to it. Yeah. It can be opinion, especially aging deer on the hoof in the sense of the video deer cameras. Sometimes you have to use your imagination. You have to take something and kind of like exploit it, make it bigger than what it is. You have to get find that inner child, that's what I always say. You gotta yeah. be creative. Yeah. You know, because it's not sometimes it's so subtle that you have to yeah. Use your imagination. So. Yeah, there's. It's interesting. There's there's science to it, but yes. there's there's also not. Science. You know what I mean? Like there's <laughs> yeah. science to how yeah. old a deer is, but yeah. there is no science to yeah. aging deer, especially on the hoof. You know, yeah. There's there's con different characteristics and environmental factors to consider time of year. Oh, so, state yeah. regions of a state. Yeah. Even the region of the state. Yeah. And it's funny. It's everybody has their style. Um, I know when I was doing a lot of aging on the hoof, I mean, I was just doing it. I would look at the deer's skull, his head, one yeah. characteristic. And then I would send it off to somebody. I said, look at the skull. And they were like, I don't see it, but I see this. And I'm like, I don't see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it is, it's a different type of style. We'll go through all of them, the styles of aging deer on the hoof through deer camera video in this case. and. Um, yeah, then you can make up your own decision which one is a lot easier. But let's start off with the easy one, year and a half. Even though a year and a half it might seem easy, they still, at 20 feet up in the air, sometimes a high end two can be mistaken. Yeah. You know? Or a high end year high and a half, excuse half. me, I misspoke. Yeah. High end year and a half can be spoke, uh, mis mistaken for uh, a two year old, yeah. Yeah. you know? So let's go through the steps. Yeah. Yeah, for a year and a half, yeah. we'll play the trail camera video all the way through. These are three year and a half old deer and we'll just play it through so you can see you know, they're in a food plot doing their thing. Middle of September. And this is in Virginia. Right, this is in Virginia on my property yep. up in the mountains. Yep. So there we have three year and a half old deer. Yep. So what are you looking for? Okay, One, the first thing when it comes to year and a half year old deer, when I have that like I think that's what it is. Take the antlers off that deer's head. Yeah. And what do you have? Go ahead and play it. Yeah. I mean, to that one point, like we're all three of them right there positive. Well, good enough. Yeah, this one good enough. Here. Yes, you take the antlers off of that buck's head and you have a mature adult doe. Yeah. No matter what year and a half, I mean, there are exceptions to every rule, obviously, but majority of them, you take that rack off that year and a half year old's head and you have a mature adult doe, yeah. hands down. That's something that's really achievable when you're up in the stand or in a ground blind or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something very easy. Yeah. And one of the next steps that we're looking for, there's several, neck into chest, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's look at this deer here. Right there, you pause it there. Okay. So if you look at these two deer, the one in the back and the one in the front, what do you see here, Cody? Look at that. 
Oh yeah, long slender neck. Long slender neck. Now even it's it's in September, you know, and it's not rutted up as they say. You still have that thin neck and a year and a half year old deer. It looks photoshopped. Again, yeah. exploiting it, being creative. It doesn't flow, does it? No, no, it doesn't. Either like one it of these deer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just any of these deer. And what's nice on video is that you can do exactly what we did. We yeah. can pause it, we can rewind it. If this was just a picture, it's it's difficult. So try putting your cameras on video mode. That way you can sit there and mess with it to get the, the correct age. Yeah. Okay? But look at all three of these deer. Look at the neck. Just does not flow into there. Take the rack off, boom. There's one more step that we can use on a year and a half. And that is what we call, and this is really using your imagination because it doesn't stand out all the time, is the rump on a year and a half is usually bigger than its chest area. The deer is big on the rear end, mm. smaller on the front end. Yeah. Some deer, and what you'll learn about all these, year and a half, two and a half, three and a half, et cetera, is that some deer show that sign more than others, yeah. okay? And that's why it's good on video, sometimes it shows it. Yeah. But that chest, or excuse me, that rump area, the hind end, this area right here, is bigger normally than this end okay yeah again it's something so those three methods long-legged obviously young appearance take the rack off you got a dough yeah neck and chest easy peasy right easy peasy you three year and a half old bucks that's right doing what year and a half old bucks do just be silly act a goofy <laughs> just yeah be silly <laughs> they're teenagers yeah a bunch of teenagers but yeah easy and this is one of those things that you, you, the year and a half tend to be easier to age on the hoof. Practice. Yeah. These are easy ones to practice on. Yeah. Walk okay. yourself through those characteristics. Yep. And if you're looking at the trail camera, like cover, cover the antlers. Mm -hmm. One a year and a half old deer, and you'll. I mean, it jumps right out at you. It's, yeah. a, it's a doe with antlers. Year yeah. and a half old bucks. When aging deer on the hoof, you just mentioned about the antlers, taking the antlers off, you know, covering them up. That's one thing that. It's hard to do, especially when they, they get older and age, three and a half, four and a half. Take those antlers off the deer and make force yourself to use other characteristics that yeah. we're going to teach you here on out. Yeah. Yeah. That way it becomes easy. Absolutely. These are three year and a half old bucks. Mossy Oak Properties, where outdoorsmen find their favorite place.